Hey you guys, it's your girl Shottown Blue here with another installment of the A-List Alert coming on behalf of the Key S Expressions Publishing slash Multimedia Division. We are doing big things in the Midwest, you guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Go below this video, hit that notification bell. That way you know when I do new uploads. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. You are a part of the 189. 0.9 thousand K views both in the US as well as overseas you guys so thank you so much for stopping by the page again all of you guys are awesome swag blasters so let's get started guess who is on the runway today none other than yo yo yes yo yo aka the protege of ice cube is in the building and some fun facts about yo yo so she was a part of my favorite TV show, which is Martin. She played Key Lolo for two years, from 1993 to 1995. And then also she was in uh, Boys in the Hood. Uh, she also did a slew full of other uh, uh, action-packed uh, TV shows that we come to know and love. Also, she was on Moesha, as well as uh, also, she was also on Moesha, as well as... Um, Oh my goodness. She was also on, okay. She was also in Boys in the Hood, Who's the Man? There's all her films, Menace to Society, Waist Deep, Trials of Life Sprung, uh, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. TV shows included Soul Train Martin, New York Undercover, Moesha, The Parenthood, Parenthood, and also Jamie Foxx Show and Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. So, this is my background on Yo Yo. When I was a freshman in actual college, I was a freshman in college, and I actually got the opportunity to, she was coming out the actual elevator. I was at the DuSabo Museum, and she was coming out off of the elevator, and she had uh, her entourage surrounding her, and then she had this leather outfit on, and she didn't have any extensions or anything like that. Her hair was just a flat ironed into the shoulders. It was real pretty. And I ran into her and, and we went face to face and I was like, I was like, hi. And she was like, hi. <laughs> so I remember that. I remember taking the African-American uh, course in college, Kennedy King College, and had to go and do a term paper in research on African-Americans. And that's what led me to the DeSabo Museum. So I was able to do that. Now, what ended up happening was that, as you guys know, uh, salt and pepper, and Spinderella, Spinderella, yes, they were just given their uh, accolades as having uh, the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And so Yo-Yo was on IG posting up in her My Story, you know, the event, things of that nature. So, of course, I went in there, saw what I saw. And I found her on my actual My Story page. And so I was really excited just to see her come on the page and give Matt, Matt support. So big ups to Yo-Yo, the protege of Ice Cube, for stopping by the A-list. Now, who's next? I'm going to sing it. Don't wake me, I'm dreaming. Please don't wake me. Don't wake me, I'm dreaming. Mr. 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 Christopher Williams is on the A-list today. Yes. So, okay. When I was younger, my teenhood movies was Juice and New Jack City. <laughs> I was forbidden to watch those movies because it was so deep. But I got the opportunity of my badass cousin on the West Side. Every time I go over to a house, I would be able to really uh, get all the movies that I'm not supposed to watch. I get the opportunity to watch them with her. And so, fell in love with Nino Brown, Wesley Snipes, and Christopher Williams. Now, it, okay, so light-skinned guys were in. Christopher Williams held that down. You know, New Jack City, that's what all the girls are talking about on the west side of Chicago, about how we were going to marry Christopher Williams, Al B. Short, and Jodeci at New Edition. That was it. So I am grateful that Christopher Williams allowed uh, me to be uh, in his little circle for a hot second. And did you guys know that there's a stage play? Stage play on New Jack City as well as starring uh, none other than Big Daddy Kane. 
and Tretch from Naughty by Nature, as well as Mr. Alan Payne. Check your local listings to find out when this play comes to you. You want to support it. Some fun facts about Christopher Williams. He is an awesome, awesome singer and, and performer. He has graced tons and tons of projects. New New York Undercover. He did an episode of that as well. But he revamped his career. Remember, New Jack City, he paid, played Kareem Akbar, which is the role in New Jack City, Nino Brown's assistant. He also has done a slew full of stage plays, including Guilty Until Proven Innocent, co-starring Casey and JoJo from my favorite R&B group of all time, Jodeci. And then he also did The Man of My Dreams, with, which starred Shirley Murdoch and Dave Hollister of Blackstreet. Between 91 and 92, personal life, he was in love and in a committed relationship with Halle Berry. Uh, he was also, he also did a cameo again on New York Undercover as well. So thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, go check out all of his projects. Between him and Yo-Yo, you guys have a lot of entertainment to take part of. Go out and support their arena of entertainment. A-list announcements, DJ Cutlass. Thank you so much for stopping by the page. Jovi Beauty on that A-list alert remix. Stacy, the comedian who just did a show with none other than Mike Apps. So go out there and check out what he has to offer. The next come up, thank you so much for stopping by the page. Moments of Joy podcast. I love this podcast. If you are a parent like me who has a disabled son, autism specifically, you are going to love Moments of Joy podcast. I want you guys to go out there. It is a whole community support group of moms and, and parents who have been affected by autism. If you're raising a child, if you're in the middle stages, if your child is grown like mine, 20 years old and still on the spectrum, you guys go out there and support Moments of Joy podcast. It's it's Check your local distance. It's right out there as well for you too. Also on the A-List Alert Remix is Sweet Juice is 23. I am Martina Lynch, Yogi underscore FNO, JJ Cicero, and Jan- Janet Demita Jackson. Thank you so much for stopping by the page. I also want to talk about the battle between Lotto and uh, and M. I'll just say that. You guys know who she is. Okay, this is why I'm saying what I'm saying about Lotto. I consider her to be the new life of hip hop and she is she's younger she has that fire and her freestyles are so fresh and new and her subject matters are really hit home on a young uh vibrant uh hungry type of level and this is my uh music x-ray critic hat on the fact that you are an artist and can hit the merchandising arena is what completes your process as an artist. It's not just about the numbers when it comes to the music. You have to be able to also hit retail as well. And Snoop Dogg and Lotto have gotten the message. I went over on Twitter and here's what I, the reason why I say this. Snoop Dogg actually teamed up with Martha Stewart and create and in him creating this product that's seen everywhere. So he has that soccer mom market which is smart thinking he's on sketchers he's doing all these things to complete himself as an artist you have to be able to cross over and do that merchandising arena lotto has been teamed up with who mariah carey who has what the christmas on lock she is the queen of christmas so why wouldn't you put lotto a new and upcoming artist with the queen of christmas and you're in Target. You're everywhere. You're in Target. You're all in the retail stores. Nobody's listening, okay? Nobody's listening as a soccer mom to FG. Nobody's listening to that at 6 o'clock in the morning over the Captain Crunch. A, mom, a typical soccer mom does not want to hear that. She wants to hear Big Energy. And here's why I say this. Big Energy is a big project, right? If you equate Big Energy with Mariah Carey, you also equate Big Energy with what? Rush Hour. And what favorite scene does every soccer mom remembers? The little Chinese girl in the back of that car smiling to Mariah Carey's Big Energy. 
we know it's not really big energy during that time frame. It was Mar- Mariah Carey's song that she did with uh, Old Dirty Bastard. Okay. But, but, but Lotto has decided to reinvent that song and make it prevalent for 2022. Clever. Genius. So when they go in the stores, soccer moms, and they want to go buy tissue paper or cereal and they're listening to Big Energy, oh, that that's what they're going to remember. And you have to be able to hit that market. So this is what I said over on Twitter. I have some people on Twitter that I want to uh, thank as well. I said, we make up $3.9 trillion of the consumer spending population. Our money carries weight. So you should be outraged on how NM is being presented to you. Lady Gaga and uh, Little Kim's persona gives me, give me as an as a consumer, give me a live set with her and M freestyling with a band. Anybody can lay on the ground. So I got 10 likes on that comment that I made over on Twitter about NM and everything that she has done. Now, this is what I also wanted to thank the following people. Pluto. Big fine ass one. Thank you. Asia Lin- Lene, uh, who had said that Saint MJ hashtag CTID, uh, Donna Cabana. Thank you so much. Ouch underscore. It's me too. And then known. Thank you so much for liking that actual comment. Now here are the reasons why I say NM is unqualified for that MJ Vanguard award. Lacks worth ethics. MJ has in the Jackson Dynasty came from nothing. So they had this type of work ethic that she lacks. Number one, she gets on stage with her boss, Little Wayne, and is dry fucking him. Then she goes to London. She's hired for a job to do in London. And she spends, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? griping about Kanye West. Nobody wants to sit and work eight hours to come to a show for two hours to hear you get pissed about yay. They want the music, the entertainment, go home. That's it. And then lastly, her last performance, you lay on the ground with your legs in the air with the beam coming up. That's into, that's MJ status. And then MJ, MJ Set the tone for collaborations. He did collaborations with Icon, Chris Tucker, MJ, Slash from Guns N' Roses, Paul McCartney. He's the person that, Rockwell, he's the person that if you had him on your track, oh, it was gold. But you decide that you want to be MJ Vanguard worthy, but you don't do collaborations with people. And then on top of that, you could have, as a person that's representing MJ, you have to do more than just take your shoes off to give to a homeless person because you know that's a photo op. You got to do more than that. Why don't you get R&B and hip hop together? You got Missy Elliott on speed dial. She know Janet personally, get them together and say, hey, look, I'm being recognized for this MJ MTV, MJ Vanguard Award. I want to get R&B and hip hop together. And we do a 2022 or 2023. We are the world. But let it be hip hop legends included, all the young artists included, bringing them together like MJ did. And the proceeds go towards who? Flint, Florida, Ukraine, Katrina. That's how you represent MJ Vanguard Award. Who who deserves it? Little baby. Little baby. When when they did the BLM, he was the one out there. And he rejuvenated that whole fight the power thing that Public Enemy did. He's the only one. I didn't see any other artists out there. I'm not saying that there were no other artists out there. But the one that stood out the most between Nick Cannon and Little Baby was Little Baby. And that's who deserves the Video Vanguard Award for MC, for Michael Jackson. That's who deserves it. If you really want to give it to somebody. But that's just me. 
that's just my music x-ray critic hat on letting you guys know how i feel about it it's really important that we hold accountable these artists that are coming before us because we work hard for our money we make up majority of the consumer spending population which means that our income carries weight you be the judge. Let me know down below. Comment below this video and let me know. Are you Team Lotto or are you team, team NM? Let me know. Go in the comments and let me know what your favorite track is from either group. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the A-List Alert Network TV. And remember, ladies, if you are a part of the Curve Nation, are we little girls? Hell no. So do we tap on doors? Hell no. If you are a part of the Curve Nation, ladies, remember to kick that bitch off the hinges. Love you guys. Take care. See you next time in the next video. Bye.